Hello again, music scholars. Today we are gonna be doing part two of our Charles Ives listening walk. So if this is your first time seeing the cover of this book, you need to go back and watch part one of this two-part video, okay? So again, this is part two of the Charles Ives listening walk. So I hope that you and your family enjoyed um, going on a listening walk and that you heard lots of different sounds in the world around you, just like Charles Ives heard uh, in the world around him. And what we're gonna do right now is we are going to make a circle map um, based on our listening walk. And obviously I can't um, have you guys raise your hand and um, give me the things that you heard, although I truly wish I could. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the listening map with things that I think you might have heard on your walk today. So some of you might have heard an airplane overhead. Some of you might have heard people laughing. Some of you heard um, lawnmowers. You might have heard birds chirping or tweeting. Um, maybe you heard the sound of the tires on the road. Perhaps you've heard the sound of a baby crying. Maybe you heard the sound of screeching tires as someone comes quickly to a halt. Um, perhaps you heard a helicopter overhead. You might have heard a horn honk. You might have heard a big dog give a big deep woof or a little dog give a little yip yip. And maybe you heard a medium sized dog bark. Bark, bark. Or maybe on your walk, a cat meowed at you. Perhaps you heard the boing or bounce of a ball. Or maybe you heard the little ping of a bicycle bell. So there's many different sounds that you might have heard on your listening walk today. Um, and you can think of those uh, in your mind, but I wrote some possibilities for you for the purpose of our rhythm activity that we're going to do. So now what I'm gonna do is um, review for some of you, some of you it might be new information, but we're gonna make a tree map together of what I call our one beat rhythms. So I'm gonna write one beat rhythms at the top of my tree map. And then for our one beat rhythms, whether you are a glee student, a band student, a music appreciation student, or a beat student, um, hopefully these are familiar to you. And we have quarter notes. And we have quarter rests. we have eighth notes. And we can also use 16th notes. Now, in addition to our one beat rhythms having names, there are also symbols that musicians read in order to know the rhythm that they're supposed to be singing or playing. So a quarter note is drawn with a shaded in circle and a, a stem. And depending on where the note is that you're singing or playing, the stem can be up or down. Then we have a quarter rest, and I like to tell my music scholars that they should draw a stretched out Z with the letter C. 
And for our eighth notes, in order for an eighth note to equal one beat, we must have two of them together. So eighth notes, we're gonna draw two shaded in circles with stems, and we must connect it with a bar line, a single bar line, okay? And then for our 16th notes, we must have four of them in order to equal a one beat rhythm. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw four circles and four lines, and I must have a double bar line on my 16th notes. If you don't have that double bar line, then what you have are two pairs of eighth notes, and we wanna have 16th notes. So if I were to clap a quarter note, it's gonna sound like this. For my quarter rest, a rest is the same as a silent, doesn't make any sound, so we're gonna go shh. Eighth notes, because I have two circles with two stems, you're gonna hear two sounds, so it sounds like this. And you'll notice that eighth notes, two of them are twice as fast as the quarter note. For my 16th notes, because I have four of them, you're going to hear four sounds. And it takes four 16th notes to equal the one quarter note. Now we could get into a whole lesson and I could draw you a pizza pie or a dollar bill and some quarters. Um, that will be for another lesson. Um, and I am going to assign one of these sounds from our listening walk to these one beat rhythms on our tree map, okay? So for the quarter note, um, for my rhythm activity, I am going to screech, okay? So I'm gonna write the word screech right here. When you're doing your rhythm activity, you might assign something different, okay? But for my example, this is what I'm gonna do. For a quarter rest, we're gonna say because a rest takes up space in music, but it doesn't make any sound. And then for the eighth notes, I'm going to do bounce, bounce. And then for my four sixteenth notes, I am going to do four barks. So these four sounds from my walk will be represented in my rhythm. Okay, so now that we have our one beat rhythm tree map filled in, we can go ahead and do our rhythm activity. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit down at my dining room table. And I have some cards here with the sounds that I did in my map. So I have a bird tweeting, the whir of an airplane, the meow of a cat, the slam of a car door, of course, shh. The whir of tire noise, honk of a car, woof of a big dog, rrr of a lawnmower, bounce of a ball, the shout of someone saying hey or ha 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 for the laughter that you might have heard on your walk. So um, I have selected some that we're gonna work on. And we're gonna make our lines of rhythm be, have four beats in them. So I have four plates, and if I were using quarter notes, we would clap this as one, two, three, four. Do it with me. One, two, three, four. Very good. So now I'm going to choose my sounds from the listening walk and put them into our um, rhythm, okay? All right, and if you remember for bounce, I said that was gonna be my eighth note, so that's why I have two in the third plate, and then screech was my quarter note, shh is my quarter rest. So this four beat rhythm will sound like this, and then I will um, have you come in and repeat it after me. So it's gonna be screech, shh, bounce, bounce, shh, your turn, ready, go. Screech, shh, 
bounce, bounce, shh. Great job. And you can use whatever sounds you heard and assign them to any of our one beat rhythms, quarter note, quarter rest, eighth notes, and 16th notes. Let's do this one one more time and then we'll do one more. My turn and then your turn. Screech, shh, bounce, bounce, shh. Your turn, ready, go. Screech, shh, bounce, bounce, shh. Terrific. Let's change it up a little bit. I'm gonna leave screech on the first one, but now I'm going to put my barks and I have four of them because remember bark was our 16th notes and you have to have four 16th notes to represent one beat. So this one will sound like this and then you are supposed to copy me when I tell you. Screech, bark, 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 screech, bark, 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 bark. Your turn, ready, go. Screech, bark, 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 screech, bark, 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 bark. How did that go for you? 16th notes can be really tricky to get only four in that beat. Sometimes we make a mistake and get three or five and don't worry if you did because even your teachers make mistakes in music class. So let's try this one one more time. My turn and then your turn. We have screech, bark, 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 screech, bark, 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 bark. Your turn, ready, go, screech, bark, 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 screech, bark, 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 bark. Very good. So you can do the same thing with plates from your house or if you have four napkins and you can make your own um, rhythms using the sounds that you heard when you were on your walk. It would be super fun if you got your mom or a sibling to be the barks and the meows, for example, and you were the shushes and the ha 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 gigglers, okay? So, that is um, the rhythm lesson for our listening walk with our book, What Charlie Heard. I hope that you took your AR quiz for that. Now, some of you, especially if you are in beats or music appreciation, you have the opportunity to download a page like this that looks like um, a sound walk. So if you're interested, if you didn't already print these, um, you can go to April 29th in your Google Classroom lessons from your teacher and print these and you'll see the first sheet is where you make your list of the sounds that you heard on your walk and then you're going to figure out that you want a ball bouncing to be bounce or boing whatever you want and then on the second sheet you have some boxes to draw your little pictures or if you want to use music notation you can um, in these boxes for your for your rhythms okay i just did four beats but you'll notice that each of these lines has eight boxes so that's eight beats for each line so i hope that you have fun plugging your sounds from your listening walk into your rhythm whether you do it on plates like i did or um, in this chart um, it will be super exciting for you and fun, a fun activity for your whole family. So thank you again for um, hanging out with me for a little while. And I hope that you enjoyed listening to the music by Charles Ives, the symphony and his piece in Central Park in the dark and um, that you had a great time in music class today. See you again soon.